my landlady had taken a piece of my door like a mountain gorilla in his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Desperate for work. That was when she walked in. <laughs> she was tall, dark, and had legs from mine. She had her hands and I knew it spelled out. What can I do for you, ma'am? My name is Kitty Thompson. I saw you riding the classifieds. I just don't know what to do, Mr. Bird. Please, call me Ed. I come from a small town in the country. I arrived here last week with my sister Judith. She disappeared three days ago. Yesterday, I found this letter outside of Arthur Tobin. It's a ransom note, detective, and it's in her handwriting. There's no doubt about that. When did you see your sister last? We had gotten back from the play before she disappeared. We got back to our hotel room and she seemed unnerved. An hour later, she went to go talk to the concierge about a problem with our room. She never came back. Oh, Eddie, I'm simply beside myself with worry. You must help. Of course, doll face. <laughs> you know, though, this sort of thing could be mighty dangerous. It would take a while to find your sister. If it's money you want, sir, I have it. My father was rather wealthy, so I have enough for whatever you may need. I'll give you this now, and the rest when you find my sister. Now, I think you should look. Mr. Burke, you are now six months behind on your rent. I'm afraid that you cannot continue to live here if you do not deliver a paycheck. Mrs. Pearson, can't you see I'm in the middle of a meeting? Well, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I can't wait any... You? But that's impossible. Apparently it isn't. Mrs. Pearson? Excuse me, Mr. Burke, I'll come back for the rent in a little while.
see the talking wasn't going to do me any good, so I did the only sensible thing. I did what any rational, well-adjusted human would have done. I turned tail and ran. <laughs>
So, Gaziano isn't at the staff either. This case kept getting darker and darker. Good luck. 
Oh!